Hi, hello. I'm going to do a video today on a custom com custom connection. Sorry, uh, it's going to be a fairly simple video. I'm going to copy this connection, which is welded to this post. Uh, now, if you start the command when you're in shaded, it can be difficult to find some of the elements. So we're, we're just going to go through what's here first. There's bolts. There's two plates here. There's another plate here. There's a feature here. And there's another feature here to cut back from the face. Uh, there's also another weld inside here. Uh, there should be another weld inside here. Yeah, there's the weld. So I also want to pick this weld in here. So good practice is to turn this into 2D wireframe. So it gets a little difficult to see, but you get used to it. All right, so this is what I want. And I want to create the custom connection. And with the two beams, and select the column, select the tube, and then I'll just do HSS to hanger. And I'll pick this one, and I'll pick post, and I'll pick beam. This is the prompt you get when you're re entering this. And select driver input objects so what we had was we had this plate this plate and this plate that's the three plates we had these bolts that's the only bolts and we had two welds two welds that weld and this weld and then we also had the features don't forget the features all right so that should be it so now what we can do is, if we turn this back to shaded, and now we want to put in the next connection, let's do HSS uh, to hanger, okay, and select the post, select the beam, and there's your connection. Now if you want to go back to this first connection, double click on the blue box, it'll allow you to go back in here. And you can edit this. You can re-pick the elements you want in it. So if you forgot something, you can go back and just do it again. Uh, so it's worked on this one. Now let's see if it'll work on the one on the opposite side. Now what you can do is once you create the second one, you should be able to copy the second one using the custom command. I'll copy and select beam and there you go. All right, so that's the mold. So what I'll do now is I'll put them all in and we'll be good to go. Now I'm actually going to change these to something different. So I'll just copy them and then I'll be deleting them myself. Oh, sorry. That's the one thing to remember. When you start the commands, you don't have to right click. So it says select post, select beam. Select post, select beam, select post, select beam. Now sometimes, depending on the type of connection you have, you'll have to create one for either side. But this one seems to be working. So just keep that in mind if it doesn't work in the opposite direction. It, you'll probably have to create two of them. So that's it. Um, I'll just do not, this, not, this now is just available in this drawing. So if I go to start and if I open up any other drawing, this one here. And if I go to the custom command and try and add it, I can't add it. It's not there. So I'll do another little video and I'll just show you how to use this in other situations. So you'll have it on an everyday basis, not just in that drone. All right. Hope this was helpful to some of the beginners and, uh, good luck and subscribe and like if you find this useful. Thank you. Bye.